it, it came out in the news yesterday that he has a contract with his own company yeah, I saw that, that kind of allows him, I, I don't want to say it gives him a pass to the last, but what do you think about it if, you, if you've read about his contract? Listen, I'm going to tell you what, that contract basically tells you that the company knew everything. And right now, the only thing that's going to stop people like that is when they have to pay. When they have to pay, and the company's going to have to pay because basically they're saying, you're, all you have to do is you pay it and you're okay with us. Yeah. That mentality is not what the rest of America deals with. You get a harassment in your law, in, in any law firm, you get it in your business, anything like that. Yeah. Okay, the company pays, they get rid of people like that. Absolutely. And that's where you have to go. You can't say, yes, you're going to have this and it's okay as long as you pay. And then you're going to pay. Two hundred and fifty thousand for the yeah. worst, five hundred thousand for the next one, seven hundred. I mean, that's ridiculous. That basically gives him a card. Okay, yeah. you can do whatever you want, and we're okay with it. That's just that's not that's not okay. In in your professional opinion, have you ever seen something like this? Never, or heard? never. Like, I was going to ask you. Never. It's a Listen, you thing. know what everybody does? They teach everybody not to have stuff like that in the workplace. You don't have it. Okay, you don't have this. It's not okay. And then to write a contract, and then I hear, well, maybe he might very well have a lawsuit against Weinstein Company because they fired him without the without the proper parameters. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Oof. That's ridiculous. Okay. I mean, think about it. Okay, basically, that's like uh, giving you a get out of jail card free as long as you pay. You can be a bad guy. That doesn't sound right. No, not at all. Um, in, in closing, do you think this may be kind of a catalyst for a domino effect in Hollywood? A lot more people are coming out the woodwork saying that this person harassed. I mean, it, it's it's starting to just. You know what? Every time you see something like this, as soon as one person steps up, brave enough to come out and do it. I mean, the uh, New York Times did a great. The New Yorker did a great article on all this. Yeah. You know, once they start doing it, you're going to find out that this is so deep, so deep. And what I think is that basically, it's about time that everybody started talking about this and putting an end to it. Because you know what? If you really think about it in this industry, great industry, but at the same time, to have that type of mentality and, and that type of where you're okay with that. Okay, the rest of the workforce, the rest of the world, they don't deal with that. Yeah. Okay, and you're taking advantage of people. You know, take advantage of people, take advantage of young women. And you know, they talk about the women. What about all the guys that, that, that you know, the guys are taking advantage of? Yeah, just, just, just people in in general yeah so do I think it's gonna change I think it's all gonna change but it's gonna have to change when people want it to change yeah. but people say no you know indifference is where you basically have that's fault everybody needs to take a stand and say we're not gonna do this anymore and they need to pay Absolutely. that's really what's coming down to uh, um, you know he's gonna have his lawyer at the board meeting uh, from what I read he's not gonna be there they're having a meeting on Tuesday him having his lawyer present, I think it's uh, Miss Glazer, I believe, who's representing him. Does that mean he's? I mean, does that mean he's still an active part of the company? When I if saw her interviews, it was more or less that she was coming up with how to apologize in a legal form. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We don't approve it. We don't do this. But if it was me, and that was my client. I would never touch them trying to go after that company. He destroyed the company, yeah. he destroyed his family, yeah. and that's just that he hasn't destroyed many other people just by the pure acts that he's done. I mean, so when you look at this, if I were him, I'd leave it all alone. What are you gonna fight for? Yeah. You fighting for a company you destroyed. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, hopefully... Hollywood couldn't write this up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully mm -hmm. Georgina, you know, has good representation. and um, I'm sure she does, and, and I hope the best for her, and I hope the best for the kids. All right. Is it okay that we record you? Are, yes. are you a celebrity lawyer? Or? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, what is your name? <laughs> it's Raymond Rafel. Yeah. Oh, Raymond. 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 Oh, okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. You know, her company is a fashion company. Right. They're kind of coming out in the news that Harvey was forcing actresses to deal with her. What advice would you have for you? You know, as far as I can see right now, all the reports that I've seen, 
she's basically as much of a victim as some of these other women. Okay. So honestly, at this point, I would tell her to take everything together, call the best lawyer. She could call me. I'll tell you what. I mean, honestly, I think what Harvey's done is terrible, and I think his wife and his kids, those are the ones who really matter all this. Yeah. And through this, I'm not even talking about all the victims, but at this point in time, you know what? I feel Dude, sorry for her, and I think she needs to get everything in a row. I'm sure she's already trying to set things up yeah. and start doing her defense work and take care and run as far as she can away from that guy. Um, it, it came out in the news yesterday that he has a contract with his own company yeah, I saw that, that kind of allows him. I, I don't want to say gives him a pass to harass, but what do you think about it if, if you've read about his contract? Listen, I'm going to tell you what that contract basically tells you that the company knew everything and right now the only thing that's going to stop people like that is when they have to pay when they have to pay and the company's going to have to pay because basically they're saying here all you have to do is you pay it and you're okay with us that mentality is not what the rest of america deals with you get a harassment in your law in, in any law firm, you get a new business, anything like that. Okay, the company pays and they get rid of people like that. And that's where you have to go. You can't say, yes, you're gonna have this and it's okay as long as you pay. And then you're gonna pay two hundred and fifty thousand for the west, five hundred thousand for the next one, seven hundred. I mean that's ridiculous. That basically gives him a card. Okay, yeah. you can do whatever you want, and we're okay with it. That's just that's not that's not okay. In, in your professional opinion, have you ever seen something like this? Never, or never. Like, I was going to ask you. Never. Was a Listen, you thing. know what everybody does? They teach everybody not to have stuff like that in the workplace. You don't have it. Okay, you don't have this. It's not okay. And then to write a contract, and then I hear, well, maybe he might very well have a lawsuit against Weinstein company because they fired him without the without the proper parameters yeah. that's ridiculous that's ridiculous okay. I mean think about it okay basically that's like uh, giving you a get out of jail card free as long as you pay you can be a bad guy that doesn't sound right no not at all um in, in closing do you think this may be kind of a catalyst for a domino effect in Hollywood a lot more people are coming out the woodwork saying that this person harassed me. I mean, it's, it's starting to just... You know what? Every time you see something like this, as soon as one person steps up, brave enough to come out and do it. I mean, the uh, New York Times did a great... The New Yorker did a great article on all this. Yeah. And once they start doing it, you're going to find out that this is so deep. So deep. And what I think is that basically it's about time that everybody started talking about this and putting an end to it. Because you know what? If you really think about it in this industry, great industry but at the same time to have that type of mentality and and that type of where you're okay with that okay the rest of the workforce the rest of the world they don't deal with that yeah okay and you're taking advantage of people you know, take advantage of people take advantage of young women and you know they talk about the women what about all the guys that, that you know the guys have taken advantage of yeah just 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 recently. people in, in general yeah so do i think it's going to change i think it's all going to change but it's going to have to change when people want it to change. Yeah. When people say no, you know, indifference is where you basically have, that's fault. Everybody needs to take a stand and say, we're not going to do this anymore. And they need to pay. Absolutely. That's really what's coming down to. Uh, um, you know, he's going to have his lawyer at the board meeting, uh, from what I read. He's not going to be there. They're having a meeting on Tuesday. Him having his lawyer present, I think it's uh, Miss Glazer, I believe, who's representing him. Does that mean he's? I mean, does that mean he's still an active part of the company? When I saw her interviews, it was more or less that she was coming up with how to apologize in a legal form. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We don't approve it. We don't do this. But if it was me, and that was my client, I would never touch them trying to go after that company. He destroyed the company. He destroyed his family, and that's just that he hasn't destroyed many other people just by the pure acts that he's done. I mean, so when you look at this, if I were him, I'd leave it all alone. What are you going to fight for? Yeah. You're fighting for a company you destroy. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's Unbelievable. Bad. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, hopefully... Hollywood couldn't write this up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully Georgina, you know, has... Good representation. And, I'm um, sure she does, and, and I hope the best for her, and I hope the best for the kids. All right. All right. Okay.
Are, yes. are you a celebrity lawyer? Or? Yeah. Lawyer, yeah. I'm sorry, what is your name? <laughs> it's Raymond Rafel. R A F O O L out of Miami. Oh, okay. Hey, you yeah. know what? Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks, brother. Have a good one. Have a good one. All right, yes. Thanks.